Hallelujah. Today we are going to pray against that evil spirit, that wicked spirit that torments marriages, that torments lives, that torments destinies. I want you to join your faith with me. It is God that has brought you to this video that you are watching. It is God that has brought you. Your marriage is under attack. Your health is under attack. Your finances is under attack. Your business is under attack. Your children are under attack. And it is all because of this same evil, wicked spirit. Today we are going to pray against the spirit that causes disappointment. We are going to pray against the spirit that causes sickness. The spirit that causes untimely death. We are going to rebuke that spirit today. And as you have come, don't be like the hypocrites who says you have nothing to pray about because everyone has something chasing after him or her. Everyone, there is a spirit that is fighting you. Everyone, there is a power that is fighting you somewhere. And by this prayer, may the Lord hand intervene. May the fire of the Holy Ghost intervene. May the power of the enemy over your health be broken. May the power of the enemy over your marriage be broken. May the power that fight your destiny be broken. May the power that fight your ministry, man of God, may that power be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Today we are going to join our faith together. The Bible said, one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand. And the Bible said, if two shall agree on earth here as touching heaven, there shall be a release of divine intervention. This morning, I want us to pray. This afternoon, this evening, wherever you are, I want you to join your faith with me right now. We are going to rebuke the wicked one. We are going to condemn the works of darkness. The Bible said, by our mouths we are taken, and by our mouths we are delivered, and we are going to use our mouth to decree and declare our deliverance this morning. There is a prayer for deliverance, and there is a teaching for deliverance. There is time that you receive the word that brings deliverance, and there is a time that you receive a prayer fire that brings deliverance. There is a time that you connect to somebody who have the faith to believe and to pray for you. And when you connect with them, God will walk through them and come forth for your deliverance. And today, I see that chain in your life broken. I see that disappointment in your life broken. I see that sickness in your life dried up in the name of Jesus. I see that new kidneys are given. I see that new lungs are recreated. I see that that chronic stomach illness is removed by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit that causes calamity in marriages. There is a spirit that causes calamity in families. There is a dangerous spirit that fight marriages, that fight destinies, that fight lives, that fight youth. There is an evil spirit that causes chaos. And that spirit, we call it the spiritual marriage. You sleep, you had a dream that the spirit has come to harass you and you wake up and you are messed up. We call it a demon of sex. It is a spiritual demon that uses sex as a point to weaken or to point a great destinies. So this spiritual marriage, the spirit that causes spiritual sex or that marries you, the spirit that covenants with you, the spirit that connects with you through sex as a point of contact to your life, 
today we are going to pray i want you to believe god viewers all over the world believe god that jesus christ is going to use this prayer today to intervene in your life believe that jesus christ is going to use this prayer today to put an end to that cry in your life to put an end to that secret harassment of the evil one this spiritual marriage i'm talking about there is a way that spirit operates and today i want to unveil how this wicked spirit operates it is a wicked spirit it is both feminine and masculine it means this evil spirit that marries destiny, that marries men or women, is a spirit that can either be a man or a female. It can turn both. It can be a male to fight a woman. It can be a female to fight a man. So the, the major stronghold of that spirit the major strength of that spirit I want to reveal to you today is that that spirit uses sex as a point of contact, as a point of renewal of covenant. Anytime the spirit had access to you through sex, the covenant of evil is renewed. The covenant of connection is renewed with you and that spirit. Because through sex, the spirit is able to have access to the deeper part of you, and that is your soul. And when that spirit is able to sit at your soul, it can manipulate your destiny. Hallelujah. I want you to follow me before we start the prayer, so that when you know how the spirit operates, you will know how to disconnect yourself from that spirit. And by Virtue of this revelation I'm going to give you today, you are going to be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear your amen. You are going to be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Whilst you are listening, I want you to just click on that subscription button, click on that red subscribe button, and click on the bell on top there, and subscribe the channel for others to also be a blessing. You too can be a blessing to others by sharing the message. You can be a blessing to others by subscribing. But let's move on to the message. I said this spirit called the spiritual husband or the spiritual wife, the only strength of that spirit is sex. And when that spirit has access to your soul through sex, then he can manipulate your life he can manipulate your finances he can manipulate your health he can put anything in your life in your body he can put sickness in your womb he can block your womb he can block your soul he can block your blessing if this spirit has access to you through sex it means he have access to your entire life. Hallelujah. So the only strong or the strength of that spirit, anytime a blessing is about to come to your life, the only thing that spirit needs to do in order to block that blessing is to have access through sex into your life, is to manipulate his way through sexual pictures and sexual imaginations in your dream and when you are caught up in that realm then he, your soul is open for that spirit to enter you then when he enter he have access to all your password he have access to all your your factory reset your soul factory he have access to every machinery in your factory that generates the blessings of God, that generates the wisdom of God, that generates the grace of God, that generates strength, even divine strength. He has the capacity to manipulate your physical strength. He has the capacity to manipulate your marriage. He has the capacity to even manipulate your heart 
against your partner. So this spirit sits in you and determines how you will speak to your husband. This spirit sits in you and determines how you will speak to your wife. You are no more guided by the Holy Spirit. Because an unclean spirit has taken the place of that wicked spiritual, that, uh, that, that Holy Spirit, the wicked spiritual husband, that wicked spiritual wife has taken place of the Holy Ghost. And he is now speaking to you. So Satan can speak to you. He can use his agent called the succubus and the incubus. That the spiritual feminist or masculine spirit. The spirit that turns both masculine and feminine. Satan can use that spirit in your life to destroy your marriage. He can use that spirit to destroy your family. He can use that spirit to destroy your children. You can behave badly towards your, your husband. You can behave badly towards your wife. Because of the presence of this spirit sitting in your soul, manipulating and controlling your emotions, controlling your desires. This same spirit can manipulate your soul and cause you into committing adultery. This same spirit can lead a husband into adultery. This same spirit can leave lead a wife into adultery. It can produce lust on natural edges in the man. It can produce on natural edge in the woman. This same spirit can manipulate its way into the heart of a man and gives a man unnatural desires and gives a man unnatural appetite. So when you see a young man following after men, it is the cause of this spirit called spiritual husband or spiritual wife in your life. The presence of this spirit can cause a young girl to chase after other girls instead of men. The spirit can cause you to continually and consistently and perpetually live a life of prostitution. This spiritual husband, this spiritual wife, can make a man to prostitute. It can make a woman to prostitute. So don't think that prostitutes are only men, uh, women. There are men who also prostitute. Just that they don't go to the wayside to use their bodies for money, but they prostitute. They use their body to destroy others through the working and the manipulation of this evil spirit called spiritual husband or spiritual wife. Follow me because I'm unveiling the mysteries behind the operation of that spiritual relationship that you have with a demon. There are many people who are married to this unclean spirit called spiritual husband or spiritual wife. Unconsciously, this spirit may not appear in your dream frequently as you, you may see others experiencing but it can be in your life. Once upon a time, it has had access into your soul and it is hiding there and may not use sexual imagination to influence you, but it may use other aspects of your life. It can cause you to be angry at all times. It can cause you to be provocative at the least Provocation. This spirit can make a man to test or to have appetite to sleeping with another man. This spirit can make a woman to have appetite of sleeping with another woman instead of a man. So this spirit can only do this when it has had access to your life through sex in the dream. Why sex in the dream? Because when you are asleep, the spirit now manipulates its way into your soul and put mental pictures, mental imaginations before you. It can turn to a man. Remember I said, it is either a man or a woman who comes 
to entice you in the dream, which comes to entice you in your sleep. And when it's able to entice you, it will arouse your emotions and open you up for sexual encounter or sexual intercourse. And when that happens, the intercourse that happens, whilst you agree with your soul, then the spirit now goes to sit in your soul and begin to manipulate every aspect of your life. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the spiritual marriage. Spiritual marriage can cause havoc in marriages. This spirit can sit in the man and influence the wife's finances. This same spirit can sit in the woman and influence the husband's finances. It can steal the money in the house. It can cause the woman to spend exorbitantly. It can cause the man to spend exorbitantly without knowing what they have spent their money for. This is the spirit that can steal finances. This is the spirit that can steal the joy of the wife and the wife will never be happy in marriage unless he goes out to commit adultery or otherwise. The same spirit can cause marriage couples not to have affection for one another. The man may not have affection for the woman, not because she is not beautiful, but the, the, it is the cause and the manipulation of this spiritual husband or spiritual wife. I want you to follow me. Today, I want to unveil the oppression of the spiritual husband, the oppression of the spiritual wife, the oppression of that unclean spirit, that giant living in your soul. This spirit is a strong spirit because it has have access to you through sex. And if a man wants to brag about any woman, the only thing he needs to do is to have sex with that woman. Then he can deflate the pride and the ego of that woman. The same thing, if a woman wants to bring down any man, the only thing he needs to do is to have access through sex. And when that thing happens, that man becomes nothing before her. She can say anything about you because she had had access, sexual intercourse, through access through sexual intercourse. So today, I am teaching you something. And after the teaching, we will pray. And when we pray, the encounters you have been having with that spirit is going to break today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual encounter with the demon of lust, the demon of sex, you will break it today. Every time you wake up in the morning as a young guy or a man and you are messed up, because you have had series of dreams in the night with an evil spirit who comes without permission. This evil spirit marries you without diary. Oh, it's an illegal spirit. It is an illegal spirit that causes havoc. This same spirit can cause, can live through the wife or the husband and afflict children with sickness. This spiritual wife or spiritual husband is very dangerous. That you should pray with all passion against this spirit. Renounce the root cause of that spirit. Renounce the power and the foundation of that spirit. Renounce the authority of that spirit. This spirit can cause sickness in the life of the husband. This spirit can put sickness in your womb. This spirit can cause fibroid in your womb. This spirit can cause sickness, affliction in your soul. So women who have been having fibroid, sometimes it is as a result of the oppression and the presence of this unclean spirit called spiritual husband in your life. When you see a man continually going through certain kinds of sickness and ailment, 
that you cannot understand. It is as a result of the presence of a spiritual wife in your life. When you are a man, you are working without any results. It can be, be as a result of the presence of this evil spirit called spiritual husband or spiritual wife. Somebody promised you today, the next day, he changes his mind. It means there's a presence of an evil, illegal spirit called a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife. They promise you today, the next day, the promise is over. Today we want to pray. I can teach on and on, but I will do a message about the effects of this unclean spirit called spiritual husband, the evil effects of the spiritual marriage, the evil effects of spiritual marriage or encounter with demon. And I will unveil to you more about the workings and the operations of the unclean spirit. But right now we want to agree, agree together. We want to pray. We want to break this evil covenant of demon in the dream. We want to break away from the covenant of sex in the dream. I want you to confess this. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am redeemed. By the blood of Jesus Christ, my sins are purged. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am separated in my soul, in my spirit, and in my body from every spiritual contamination. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am separated from every spiritual contamination with any demon or unclean spirit. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am separated from any spiritual encounter with any demon in the sleep. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am separated from any spiritual encounter with any demon in my sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break your covenant. By the blood of Jesus Christ, your covenant over my soul is broken. By the blood of Jesus Christ, you unclean spirit of sex in the dream, I command you, be cast out of my life, be cast out of my family, be cast out of my health, be cast out of my finances. I command you, evil spirit, I command you, evil spiritual husband. I command you, evil spiritual wife. Take your hands off my children. Take your hands off my health. Take your hands off my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, take your hands off my helpers. Take your hands off my husband. Take your hands off my wife. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am disconnected from any unclean covenant with any demon in the sleep. I, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I am disconnected from any demon or unclean spirit in the dream. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am disconnected from any unclean spirit covenant. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am disconnected from any covenant with demons in the hell by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am disconnected from any ungodly covenant, from any unclean covenant with demons in the sleep, with demons in my dream, with demons in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am no longer condemned. I am a new creature in Christ Jesus Christ. From today, I am a chosen generation. I, I walk with Jesus Christ. And the Bible said in John chapter 8, the verse 12, that whosoever shall follow Christ shall no longer walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life in him. Today, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am a new creation. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am saved from the power of filthy demons. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I am saved from every demonic power in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus Christ, my debt is canceled. By the blood of Jesus Christ, 
every accusation against my soul is canceled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every accusation against my spirit is canceled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every accusation against my body is canceled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual accusation against my body, my soul, and my spirit, it is wiped off in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I am free. Declare, I am free by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am free by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am free by the blood of Jesus Christ. And as you are declaring this prayer right now with me by faith, that is how your deliverance is happening. By faith, God is bringing you out of darkness. God is pulling you out of the control and the manipulation of that wicked giant spirit, that demonic spiritual husband, that demonic spiritual wife that is manipulating, controlling every affair of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you free from every oppressor in the dream. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you free from every unclean spiritual husband. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you free from every unclean spiritual wife. And I want you to take everything that I do here by faith. And from today, that experience in the dream, I declare and declare that no more. From today, that encounter with demon in your sleep, I decree and declare it no more. From today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost in my life, I decree and declare that encounter with sex in the dream, it is aborted in the name of Jesus. It is canceled in the name of Jesus. I put a wall and a barrier between you and that spirit. I put a wall and a barrier between you and that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I put a wall and a barrier between you and that spiritual husband. I put a wall and a barrier between you and that spiritual wife. As you pray with me by faith, I decree and declare over your soul, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. Your soul is delivered in the name of Jesus. No more harassment in the dream. No more sexual encounter in the dream. Today, I release an anointing that breaks the arm of the enemy from into your life. I release that anointing upon you right now. The anointing that breaks the hands of the wicked. The anointing that destroys evil by the power of the Holy Ghost. In my mouth, I decree and declare over you that chain of spiritual marriage is broken in the name of Jesus. That chain of spiritual husband is destroyed in the name of Jesus. That chain of demon in the sleep, demon spiritual sex in the dream, I command that chain be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I free you from every strong man. I free you from every strong woman. I free you from every strong man in the name of Jesus. By virtue of this prayer right now, the Lord Jesus Christ will hold your soul and he will drag you out of the control of that spiritual husband. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to hold your hand and is going to pull you out of the control of that spiritual wife. That is what I'm seeing right now. That Jesus Christ is pulling people from the control of spiritual marriage. Demons that are causing havoc in homes. Evil spirits that sleep with men that causes sickness and pollution in their lives. Evil spirit that causes disappointment. Evil spirit that causes marital crisis. Evil spirit that causes broken home. You evil spirit, you spiritual husband, you spiritual wife, in the life of my brother and my sister praying along with me right now, I command you evil spirit, remove your hand in the name of Jesus. Remove your power from the hair. Remove your power from his life. Remove your power from her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ.
Remove your hands from the life of that marriage. Remove your hands from the health of that woman. Remove your hands from the womb of that woman. Remove your hands from the fruitfulness of that woman. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today, the yoke of barrenness is broken. As the power of spiritual marriage is broken, barrenness in your life has come to an end. And as I have declared, so it is. I declare that whoever is praying along with me, believing God for a baby, the Lord said, I should tell you that barrenness is over because he has arrested that evil spirit. He has arrested that unclean spirit. Spiritual marriage is broken. Spiritual marriage is broken. Spiritual marriage is broken. Spiritual marriage is broken. They came into your life without permission. And they don't need any permission to be cast out. Right now, I cast out every unclean spirit in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I cast out every unclean spiritual husband from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I cast out every spiritual husband in your life, in your business, in your career. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the fire of the Holy Ghost, they are coming out. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, they are coming out. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, they are coming out. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, they are coming out. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, they are coming out. Right now. Right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, the Lord is chasing them out. You are clean in the name of Jesus Christ. Because of this words that you are hearing today, you are clean in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare your body sanctified. Don't forget that this unclean spirit called spiritual husband or spiritual wife, one of his major agenda is to make sure that you are defiled and contaminated. It will corrupt your mind. It corrupts your soul. It corrupts your spirit. You don't, you don't have any strong godly standing. You may be praying, but you are still contaminated. You may be fasting, but you are still contaminated as a result of the presence of this spirit in your life. You can be a Christian, all right, but your life will never reach the heavens. Your prayer doesn't go anywhere. There is no power in your prayer. There is no authority in your mouth. Because this spirit has come to contaminate your soul. To contaminate your spirit. To corrupt you so that you will no longer live your life for God. This is one of the secrets of this spirit. Is to make sure that your prayer life and your prayer fire is quenched. Many people, their prayer fire is quenched. Because of the working and the operation of this spiritual husband. Many people, their, their spiritual lives is off. There's no more fire. There's no more prayer. There's no more oil in your life. Because of the presence of this unclean spirit called spiritual husband or spiritual wife. Today, I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Today, the Lord sent me to you. You who is listening to me. The Lord sent me to you to declare you free in the name of Jesus. In Ezekiel chapter 37, the word of God says, And God said to Ezekiel, Speak to these dry bones. Ezekiel, I want you to address these dry bones. God wants me to address this evil spirit called spiritual husband. God wants me to address this evil spirit called spiritual wife. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command your soul, be free. I command your spirit, be free. I command your body, be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare deliverance in your family. Your children are free from the contamination of this evil spiritual husband. Your ministry is restored. 
your marriage is restored. Your favor is restored. No more disappointment in the name of Jesus. No more setback in the name of Jesus. No more failure in the name of Jesus. No more barrenness in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare you free. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Anytime we pray and command something over your life, it is the Spirit of God and the power of God working through us to do that. No man can say Jesus Christ is Lord except by the Spirit. So when you see me sitting here commanding your liberty, commanding your breakthrough, it is by the authority of the Spirit. I don't have that audacity to do that. If the Spirit of God has not filled me and moved me to do that. So I am doing this by order and by instruction. Today I command your soul, be free in the name of Jesus. Be free from spirits in the dream. Be free from nightmares. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free from lesbianism. I set you free from every unnatural attraction. I set you free from every unnatural attraction, man to man, woman to woman. I set you free from every spirit of lust that the demon of spiritual husband or spiritual mad wife has deposited in your life. I command that lust to dry up in the name of Jesus. I command that ungodly appetite, dry up in the name of Jesus, dry up in the name of Jesus, dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. I arrest the spirit of lust. I arrest every ungodly spirit that causes you to mess up every day. I arrest that spirit of disappointment in your life. That causes men to use you and dump you. I arrest that spirit of disappointment in marriage. That you jump from one man to another. Every man keep rejecting you. As a result of this spirit. Wicked spirit. But today. The head of this spirit is cut off. May the Lord draw out the sword tonight. In your dream. And pursue this evil spirit. And from today onwards, you will begin to have encounters and revelations and dreams that Jesus Christ will empower you and you will begin to fight this evil spirit. From today, power change hands. I declare your hands are empowered. Your voice is empowered. Your tongue is empowered. You will begin to break this spirit down every day. Every night. You go to sleep. May the Lord empower your soul, empower your spirit to break away from this evil spirit. I declare your soul be empowered. I declare your spirit be empowered. I declare your body be empowered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ set you free today. By the blood of Jesus Christ, that covenant is broken. By the blood of Jesus Christ, that covenant is broken. By the blood of Jesus Christ, that covenant is broken. Beloved brothers and sisters, this spirit doesn't respect fasting and prayer. But it respects the fasting and prayer of men of authority. Men who are sent with the, the power and the authority to set you free. It only understands people who are anointed. To stop him. This spirit doesn't respect any useless prayer. Unless the Lord come through our voice to set you free. You can fast and pray yourself and you will never be free. Many people have fasted and prayed. Yet that very night that they are fasting. Even dry fasting. This spirit will come and mess up with their lives. Today. I say you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. By the authority in my mouth, I decree and declare you who is hearing my voice now, you are free. I decree and declare 
the one who is hearing my voice now, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free in Jesus' mighty name. Beloved brothers and sisters, if you are blessed by this broadcast, I want you to drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know your experience with this spiritual husband. Let me know your experience with this spiritual wife. And if there is any testimony to share, drop it on the comment section and the Lord will bless you. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it with family members. Your friends need this. Your family need to hear this. Your brother in the church needs to hear this message and this prayer. I want you to share. Don't be selfish. Share it on your Facebook page. Share it on your WhatsApp groups. Just click on the share button. Copy the link and post it anywhere you want. And the Lord will begin to bless you in the name of Jesus. Subscribe to the channel and be a blessing to somebody else. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the light of God continually shine upon you. May the Lord Jesus Christ from today remove that garment of shame, that garment of disgrace, that garment of disappointment that this evil spirit has left on you. May the Lord Jesus Christ remove the garment in the name of Jesus. Let that evil garment be removed in the name of Jesus. Let that evil garment be removed by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare you are covered in the blood of Jesus. I declare you are covered in the blood of Jesus. I declare you are covered in the blood of Jesus. I declare you are covered in the blood of Jesus. I declare you are covered in the blood of Jesus. Today you will sleep in peace. You will oppress the oppressor. From today you will oppress the oppressor. The one who used to oppress you. From today, as this words came out of my mouth, I declare over your soul, over your spirit, you will oppress the oppressor in the name of Jesus. You will oppress the wicked one. They will run without looking back. You will break the neck of the wicked. Every evil around you, every ancestral covenant, today that altar is set on fire in the name of Jesus. Any altar in your family that is sponsoring this evil, I command that altar, be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is coming for you. Jesus Christ has appeared to you today to set you free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus.